All right, well, hello and welcome back. This is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State College, and we are on question number 11. So we're cruising through these, and let's get to it. All right, so question number 11, the directions are simple enough. They just say divide. All right, so number 11, and I see that I have a 15 x to the third plus 11x squared minus 7x minus 3 over 3x plus 1. All right, let's go ahead and put this aside and we'll go ahead and work on what they've given us. All right, well, I see that in my numerator, which is the top, that I have a polynomial. And then my denominator is a binomial. Well, whenever I have a binomial as my denominator, what I'm going to do is use long division in order to solve this. And so we're going to use those old school elementary skills that we learned and apply it to a little bit more complicated problem. And when we do that, we're going to take our numer uh, excuse me, our denominator rather. We'll put it on the outside of our house and we'll go ahead and rewrite our numerator under our roof. Just like that. Now the first thing that we want to look for uh, when we are using long division is we want to make sure that our degrees are in descending order and that we go from our highest all the way down to zero without skipping any. And if we have skipped one, then we need to make sure that we fill it in. So what I mean by that is we go from three to two to one and then zero. If for whatever reason we were missing, let's say uh, an x squared, and we went right from 15x to the third minus 7x minus 3, well, we would have to physically remember to fill in our x squared with a 0x to the second. Otherwise, our math isn't going to work out. In this case, however, we go from 3 to 2 to 1 to 0, and so we're okay here. But just keep an eye out for that uh, on the final. That if you are missing, if we skip, uh, jump a degree on our on our way down, that you are going to have to fill it in yourself with a zero x and then whatever uh, the degree that it's missing. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. And the first thing we want to do is we ask ourselves how many times, or rather, what do we have to do to three x to get to fifteen x to the third? Meaning, what do we have to multiply 3x by to get to 15x to the third? Well, to get from 3 to 15, I know I'm going to have to multiply by 5. And to get from x to x to the third, I have to multiply by x squared. And then when I do that, I go 5x squared times 3x. That gives me... 15x cubed, 5x squared times 1 gives me a positive 5x squared. Draw my line, change my signs. So this first column cancels out, and then I have positive 11x squared minus 5x squared. Well, that gives me a 6x squared. And then I'm going to bring down my negative 7x and start the whole process all over again. So you can see this is similar, like I said, to the long division that we did back in elementary school, but a couple of additional steps. All right, and just keep in mind that when we do our draw our line, change our signs, if the first column here doesn't cancel out, you've done something wrong in the math. So you've got to go back and, and check yourself. And again, you'll see that, that process play out again uh, when we do it with, with our new 
um, binomial here that this first column has to cancel out. So let's go ahead and, and show that. So what do I have to do to 3x to get to uh, 6x squared? Well, I have to multiply 3 by 2 to get to 6. And I have to multiply x by x to get to x squared. So 3x times 2x gives me 6x squared. And now I do 2x times 3x gives me 6x squared. 2x times 1 gives me 2x. Again, draw my line, change my signs. And you see again, this first column cancels out. If that column isn't canceling out when you draw your line and change your signs, that's, that's when you have to go back and make sure you've done your math correctly. Well, what's negative 7x minus 2x? Well, let's say negative 9x. Going to bring down our negative 3 and start the process again. What do I have to do to 3x to get to negative 9x? Well, I've got to multiply it by 3, a negative 3. Negative 3 times positive 3x gives me a negative 9x. Negative 3 times positive 1 gives me a negative 3. Draw my line, change my signs. Again, my first column cancels. Negative 3 plus 3, well, that just gives me a 0. And as soon as I wind up with a zero as a remainder down here, and there's nothing left for me to bring down, I know that I can stop, and that whatever's above the roof here is my answer. And so we get 5x squared plus 2x minus 3. All right, so not too bad. This is long division, and sometimes you just take a couple, uh, you know, solving a few of these in practice to get the hang of it. but. Uh, it really is just a systematic step-by-step -step process, making sure that our first column with each subsequent, uh, you know, um, uh, subsequent process that uh, we're canceling out that first column. Remember, we're drawing our line, changing our signs, and ultimately we want to uh, make sure that our answer, you can see, also is in descending degrees. So we have two, one, zero. Uh, and again, uh, just make sure that you follow the steps and, and I think you're going to be just fine. All right, so that was problem number 11. We are going to move on to question number 12 and I will see you all there. Thanks again for watching.